Alright, moment of truth. We're going to find out whether I fixed a uh, mini beast or not. I'll just put that there. Oops. isn't the right length for it so when you put it you see on these still saws you have choke run i don't know i forget what that one is it's a it's a start and then you got off right so you have four positions on there where two would probably do <laughs> or three you know off run and, and, and choke but um this whole plastic thing that uh, is supposed to hold the trigger so when you put it on kill it, it you know basically kills it right but i can get away with just choking it so uh hopefully that'll stay together for at least the rest of the summer and i don't have to worry about it <laughs> but if it does well it is what it is and then uh but uh it's uh, signs that i'm gonna have to uh, start looking for a uh a, you know like I, if this becomes the backup saw it's a, such a great little saw it is technically a 170 not a 180 and the 162, I think, is even lighter and smaller than this. Uh, this has the 13-inch uh, Forester bar on it. I think the uh, 162 has like a 12-inch bar, which is better for branches and stuff here. Up in places like that. Uh, so, it's fixed for now. <laughs> uh, that's the second time. Uh, but you can see it runs good. It runs really good. That's I saw it like... That's probably... If I have this saw as long as I had uh, had uh, Ninja Shark for, I had Ninja Shark uh, 14 years now, and 13 of it, it made me tons of money. This saw is probably going to make me more money than uh, what Ninja Shark did, just because I'm more active with the chainsaws these days. Gotta watch it, don't scratch my rig in front of my car. Eh, it's leaking oil on it, well that'll preserve it, so. Uh, but uh, this saw, yeah, I definitely want to have a lot for little saws like this. They are so handy for yard work. I use them more than the big saws. Um, it's just, when you have little things like that, like, like yeah, this thing took a header off the top of a, a truck at one point, so you can see why things aren't lined up and whatever. But you know, it owes me nothing. I mean, it's already paid for itself once this season. I've used it three times. Um, I didn't get it new, obviously. I, uh, I think I paid 200 for it or something like that. Um... The new version of uh, the 180 is like closer to 300 bucks. It was worth the money. It was like, uh, yeah, it would have been better to buy a brand new saw, but I didn't have the money for a brand new saw at the time. Uh, but this, the longer I can keep these guys going, uh, this one has a really, I'm going to have to get a spare chain for this one because I don't have a uh, Murphy chain. I'm going to make a video about that. But um, uh, the um, chain on this one's really good but considering I, I do a lot of like close to the ground kind of work with this uh, saw these type of saws as well uh, so what ends up happening is you end up you know the saw ends up in the dirt right and then it ends up like the chain on that one anyway, yeah, so mini beast is back up and running hopefully he's up for the task uh, next week because that is a big task I got next week for this guy uh, it's going to be a very big pine tree. I'm mainly going to be taking the branches off. Um, the trunk and stuff like that I'm going to be leaving because it's going to turn into like a flower pot thing. <laughs> uh, but it's probably... How big would that pine be at the at the base? Not quite, not quite as big as those guys, but uh, big enough. Uh, too big for this guy anyway. Even too big for that guy. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully this trigger doesn't come come apart again is that uh, it's, it's just weird how it's in there it uh it seems like the trigger arm that's in there 
is a little bit too long uh, or a little bit too uh, one part of it's too long one part of it's too short so <laughs> yeah yeah i figured that so it probably isn't proprietary to the saw but maybe if i can get a proper trigger for it uh, maybe I won't have that problem anymore, but then again, maybe just because it took a tumble off the top of a, <laughs> a speeding vehicle or a, well, at speed vehicle, maybe that that's what did it in. So, anyway, there we go. It is running. Hopefully, it won't give me any more problems this season. Usually, what gets it is when I force this too much. I think is what pops it out. So, as long as I'm gentle with this, I should be okay. So, um, yeah, there we go. Yep, that's Mini Beast back in action. Here we go.